Hello, so I'm, uh, I'm back making a video and I thought I'd uh, do one today on the project that I'm about to do which is replacing and fixing the, uh, the sideboards on my, uh, on my Discovery. As you can see they're uh, in a pretty poor condition. They've gradually rusted through over the last few years. Uh, they were fitted when, when I actually bought the vehicle um, four or five years ago. So um, I think it's time that, uh, we, that we put some new ones on. Okay, so in order to get the step off, there's a series of brackets that you can just about make out the remains of this bracket, which goes under there and attaches behind this here. At least that's my understanding. So I need to get rid of that strip and it's attached here at this end. And likewise, there's something similar at the other end, no doubt. But hopefully this should then pop off so let's see how we get on. Oh, by the way, I had to lift it up, take the wheel off to get access to these two screws because um, the wheel comes too close. Yes, these do pop off. You can see there's a little clip there and there's a number going along the, along the strip. However, it's held in, this is held in place by the actual step itself. If you can see inside, it goes underneath and it's held, it's pushed in place by the, by the cover on here. This. So, what I think I'll have to do is either take this plastic cover off, which it's not really meant to, I mean it might just pop off, or I actually take the whole, the actual step off itself. So, on the, on the new one, let's have a look. This is the this is the new pair of steps. You can see that there's a bracket. So the, these brackets attach to the actual body of the vehicle, and then that holds the that holds the actual step on. So if I can find these nuts on the original one, I should be able to take the step off. Okay, so the plot thickens even more. This. This cover here actually wraps, let me see if I can get underneath, <clears throat> actually wraps around here. So it's this whole section, so it looks like underneath, the, underneath this cover here is there's a series of bolts holding it in place. Hopefully you can make out that one as well. And there's two more going on. Actually there's one missing at the front end. So hopefully, if I take those off, and I'm going to have to take the, st the actual step off to get this cover over the brackets that stick out. So let's keep digging. So those bolts that I thought were underneath, they're not really bolts, they're more like rivets. Put, so they're, they're, they, you push them through and then you push that in and it opens them out and they expand. So. They don't look too bad, I'll clean them up. Hopefully I should be able to reuse them. However, the bolts that go underneath the brackets here, there's one, one here, and there's one at the front, um, they're completely rusted through. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is use a little bit of blunt force trauma and uh, get rid of this. I am five pence up though on the deal. So there we go, not too bad. That could have gone easier, but uh, it's off, it came apart more than anything. Whole pile of rubbish. But um, the pegs or the brackets are now exposed. So I should hopefully, I might have to take that bit off, but I should hopefully now be able to take this skirting, for want of a better word, off. Okay, so they're now off, that's now off. I've, uh, I'll give that a clean up, but it's in, it's in fairly good condition. Just needs a good clean. The next thing is to take the existing brackets off and replace with the new ones. So that basically just goes in there and replaces that one. That one goes in there. The only thing is there's bolts based on this bracket. There's bolts underneath as well. So, yep, I can feel them. They're underneath there. They have been covered up, so I'm hoping they're in fairly good condition. Likewise, this is the bracket for the back and again, there's at least two two bolts there, which I can just about feel. 
Yep. So there, there. And for the back, it's exactly the same. So we have this bracket here, which again has two bolts underneath, which are there. Right, a bit of WD-40 and a good socket, and hopefully they'll come off. That took long enough, but um, they were there. There were a couple of seized, seized um, bolts, but um, most of them came out okay. This one at the back was the worst one. The, uh, the threads in there are uh, rusted through, so what I might do is run a, um, run a tap just to clean up the threads. The one, at, the one at the front's not too bad, and the two underneath, they're pretty poor as well, so I'll see what I can do just to, just to neaten them up. You can see that this, the bracket at the back, or the back of the vehicle, was the one that was the area that took the most, most damage from the, um, from the water. There's a little bit there of, a little bit of paint or rust coming through on the paint there, but I shall give it a coat before I uh, before I put, put the covers back. So hopefully it'll have a bit, a few more years of life in it. So running a um, a tap in the threads just to um, doesn't require much force, just to get rid of the rust, just to clean them up. It's not too bad actually. I've just done the one in the front, so. Should help with the, uh, with the bolts going in. Now obviously I'm gonna put some um, protection on the, on the threads as, as well, so hopefully it'll prevent any more corrosion, so. <clears throat> okay, so that's all of the steps on now. They're bolted into place, new bolts. Copper paste to prevent the rust. Same on the back there. So I'll just clean it up and then put the skirt back on. Okay, there's the skirt back on. I'll give it a wipe when I'm happy everything's back to normal. I've also sprayed some uh, under underbody, under seal on all of the panels or the um, the brackets that I've just put on. So hopefully that should protect the the bolts and the rest of the bracket. Now when I put the actual step on, I'll be doing the under the underside of that as well. So hopefully it should be in fairly good fairly good condition after that. There's the new step on. I still need to give it a bit of a clean, but uh, give it a wipe. But it's on, and it's far better than the previous one. It should look like that. So, yeah, I think a good job. Time to tidy up. That's one side done. I now need to uh, repeat the same repeat the same thing and do this side. This, this side isn't as bad, but if I'm doing one, I might as well do the rest. This, um, there's some sign of corrosion, but it's, uh, it's no way as bad as the other side. So hopefully this should be a slightly easier job. Famous last words. So there's the, uh, there's the side step off and the skirt. As I say, this side isn't too bad. The back was pretty bad, but not as bad as the other side. And uh, these two, the two bolts that held the, the step on, on, on the middle bracket, they just sheared off. The ones at the front I had to pin, uh, had to drill. You can just about make out, I missed where the hole was, but they weren't coming off and the back one the bolts are still on but the actual surrounding material had rusted away so that was fun however all the brackets are now on i had broken bolts head snapping off I had to drill out a couple as well more work on this side than there was on the other despite there being less corrosion anyway that's now done so i'm just gonna offer up the uh the step adjust the position of the brackets and then we can get it all back together. What's the matter Murphy? Hey, what's up? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so that's all of the sides done, all the steps done. Everything's back as it should be. A lot better. I need to give it a wash, obviously, but it's all there. 
and um, you can see the remains of the steps so yeah it was uh, it was needed I think what do you want Murphy what's the matter something on the roof okay right well thanks for watching and uh, hopefully there'll be more videos to follow